Where's this copperhead? Uh, oh, yeah. That does look like a copperhead. Yep. Mama LFG does not like snakes. Not one bit. Oh my gosh. Oh, a little bass would just eat him up. Eat him up. Getting after it. So, <laughs> oh man. And here comes the big drops of rain. It's just not letting up. Me and Pops had to let it go. I wasn't even gonna go this morning, but <laughs> he just texted me and said, we made it out just in time. Yeah, but I saw my dad was going. I was like, ah, I'll follow suit. I'll go kayaking with my dad. No shot. I didn't even, I didn't even get a fish. I got one bite. By the way, this rain, absurd. I can't even imagine what it's like down at our our house right now. Hopefully it's not flooded. Hopefully don't we don't come home to just, you know, Winston's toys floating in water and, you know, tons of damage. I know the people in Houston on the coast, they got like 20 times worse than we do, so. I can't be complaining up here. Got OSG back with me. She magically appeared in my car. Oh, where did it come from? She's like a genie. A genie, genie in a, in a Toyota. Bike. Oh. What were you saying? I was thinking Genie in the Bot, which I wasn't born in this era, but like, I dream of Genie. Oh, I loved that show when I was little. Did you watch it? On well, Nick it Night? was old when I was little. Like, I used to well, watch too. it on TV Land. Yes, TV Land or Nickelodeon, Nick at Night. I love Lucy. I dream of Genie. Um, I love Steffi. That, that should be a show. I love Steffi. I love Steffi. Let us know in the comments. If you're actually wondering why she, she appeared in the truck, she was on her way to eat lunch with my mom in town at the same exact time as I was leaving the lake. And you just wanted a free meal. I wanted a free meal, plus I wanted to see my gorgeous wife. Oh, and I've just been informed I have to buy a purse for her because <laughs> She's instated a new rule, a new law, legislation into a the marriage. A new Steffi legislation. It's a new Steffi legislation where if I leave the country, you get a purse, is that right? No, I get an item of my choosing. An item of your choosing. So I don't want to limit myself to a purse. Okay, well that's smart on her part. <laughs> we might be going to Dillard's one of these days or Walmart. Yeah. One of those places. <laughs> I got some good designer stuff in Wally World, I've heard. You won't be finding it at Walmart. <laughs> okay, well, I'm screwed. Happy wife, happy life, you go fishing around the world. I just made that song up. It's pretty good, huh? <laughs> no. Makes sense? Winston? Winston! You've already rolled around in poop today, and you were bad. He rolled around in his own poop <laughs> like a savage. <laughs> like a weird savage. Had poop. Rolled in it. That? Had to wash you. Oh, well, You're like nice a, you look like an Oreo out there. We have a very special treat for you now. Now, just the other day, you saw me and OSG go to an archer store. I was getting my bow set up, still working on that. But now we have something special for you. Something special. OSG had the bug. I did. She had the bug for archery. I want to be like Pocahontas. Like I want to be able to like hold out. Well, I have a, what was it called, a crossbow? Well, I mean, let's just ruin the surprise. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> She's got to work on her setups here, Fishing Freaks. I was trying to build the excitement. She went somewhere else. I didn't know where Went we crazy. Come, on, come over here and show the Fishing Freaks your crossbow. Ta-da! Da, 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 da. Look at this. Look at this beautiful lady. Yes, Fishing Freaks. OSG has gotten herself a yep. crossbow. Bo, come over here. We can get some better light on it. All right. I think. Wait. Oh, beautiful. there we go. Oh yeah. This is another bow from uh, the Darden Company from uh, Rob Larkins. Is his name? He set OSG up. He got wind that uh, OSG was gonna gonna try to go on some Dolly. hunts with me. So we got a full package set up here. None of those crazy expensive. <laughs> accessories that I got rigged out on my bow. This one's like ready to go. All we gotta do is sight this sucker in. Have you ever shot a crossbow before? No, this will be my first. Okay, are you nervous? 
Well, you said it doesn't kick too much, right? I said uh, that's true. All right. It shouldn't. Can you even hold it up? Do you feel comfortable with it? No. Do you feel like you're in medieval times? I do. I feel like I'm like Pocahontas or something. Well, that's what you wanted, right? Yeah. You're like a medieval Pocahontas. Okay, now we have a target block, right, y'all? We're gonna go set that up. OSG is gonna get her shoot on. Looks like a nice tree for a target. In case you guys are wondering, this thing is called the block. The block classic. Says it's supposed to stop broadheads as well, but we're not gonna be shooting broadheads today. OSG is not quite ready for the broadheads yet. Don't want her slicing any cat's heads off in the neighbor's backyard. Okay, now we're gonna start off. This is probably about 20 yards, maybe a little bit less something real easy we're gonna go through the whole process here I've actually done a whole entire video on safety tips for crossbows I did a DVD once for a bow uh, crossbow company so I feel like my safety level is pretty good uh, we don't have safety goggles right now we should probably get some other than that I can put I always say on. yes to flip-flops if you can do it in flip-flops you can do it in anything is what I say quiet on the set we don't want it to look trashy Everybody needs a good trash can to lean on when they're sighting in their crossbow. We gotta cock this thing. For that, you can be a real cowboy and you can just pull it back with your fingers, but I definitely recommend using the rope cocker. So with this rope cocker, this, this is basically just, it gives you big leverage on cocking the crossbow. I've already given OSG a little rundown with the rope cocker, so hopefully she hopefully will be I'll able to uh, follow up. Look at me, oh. dropping. Oh the sunglasses. Hey, they survived. So we got these two little things. The two things, the hooks. That's right, they go down. I'm gonna... You wanna get them as close mm. to the rails as you can? Yeah, you can okay. flip, flip them that way, yeah. Okay. There you go. Close to the rails as you can. Put your foot in there. Lean back. Lean into it. Oh, there you go. Now, right. when you fully get it engaged, it'll go into safety. It's in safety mode now. So that means you're you're good to go. You're clear to uh, put an arrow in there. Be very careful. Now guys, huge, in, huge importance here, and I'm not joking around with girls, put your hair up in a ponytail, because if the hair reaches into that bow, if anything goes above that bowstring and you hit fire, it's going with it. Like your fingers are gonna get chopped off, your hair's going away. Um, a lot of catastrophic Eee. stuff is going to happen. So we don't want that. And never stand in front of it. Like you just did. Uh, yeah. There you go. You want to push it all the way back. There you go. Till it clicks in. Now it is ready to go. It's still on safety. Okay. And we are going to give her a go. Just get back there. Get comfortable. And make really damn sure that your pretty pink fingernails don't go above that line. I hate to stress that. But you gotta stre uh, stress it intensely because you don't want your partners and loved ones to lose their, their fingers. <laughs> All right, so just take your right hand and just push the safety the, to the fire. There you go. All right, and then just slowly squeeze on the trigger. All right, a little high. A little high. A little high, but not bad. I mean, in most situations, that'd be at least a severely wounded <laughs> animal. And we got to get better than that, but that's a good that's a good starting place. Okay. And uh, hey, you didn't lose your hair and you didn't lose your fingers. No, I didn't. You just want to press that forward instead, instead of snapping of it. Because when you go like you go like that, everybody runs off. Animals gonna hear that, especially if it's really calm like this. So you just press it forward like that. Just when you get comfortable, get really steady and just breathe out. Yours was pretty close to mine. Uh, I, wouldn't I wouldn't call that. You wouldn't call it? No, I would not I'll, call come that. Come on, Fish and Freaks, give me something here. No. Nope. Give me something. Nope. Doesn't matter. It's the scope. We are literally the anyway. same. Okay, so that makes me feel better. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna work that into right there and then we're gonna work our way back. So it looks like looks like we need to get centered up a little bit and we're still shooting a little high. We're gonna get her dialed in. Just get it like a straight killer through SG. We moved it out to about 30 yards now. 
I think that should be where we should center the crossbow is at 30 because we're probably going to be taking longer shots with the crossbow anyway. Look at her go. <laughs> Pull all the way. Pinch. Pinch your shoulders. There you go. <laughs> that is a workout. Do that a few times. Hand me an arrow, please, sir. Oh, am I your squire? Yes. All right. Let's get a zoom in on the target here. Still high. A lot of high right like, there. Okay, do I move when I'm like about to press it? Can you, like next time that I shoot, can you like see if I move it, like adjust it a little bit? Let's see, half inch at 100 yards. We're definitely not at 100 yards, but we need to go right. It's a good six inches right there, so probably 12 clicks. Oh. Always tap it. Not sure if that does anything, but I'm tapping it. Tap it before you cap it. I'm gonna put it on the strings close to the base of the deal. Now here's the thing with this. You wanna start with the butt power and then end in the shoulder power. Just one kind of fluid deal. Come right up there, pinch your shoulder blades, then you're good to go. Put the cocker to your wife, if you have one <laughs> close by. Never do this right here. This becomes a strangling device. Kill you if the bow goes off improperly. So take that, give it to someone else, throw it to the side. Get rid of that, get rid of that cocker around your neck. Some adjustments with the scope, so hopefully it will now be a little bit closer. Probably still gonna have to do some dialing in. I'm gonna be straight up honest with you guys. I can't remember which way the scope is supposed to adjust for. If you're shooting left, do you click left or do you click right? I can't remember. I guess we're about to find out. So if you let me know in the comments, it's already gonna be too late. I'm not trying to be Jesse Ventura out here. I'll give you shooting instructions. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just a dude that's trying to figure it out. Oh, baby. All right. So I did it right. I feel so proud of myself. Needs probably two more clicks. Let's go see how dead on that is so we can make an adjustment. So that's pretty good, assuming this is 30 yards, but I think we still need to go probably two clicks over and then we should be good. We'll do one more test shot there. Bullseye. Woo! Total bullseye. All right, now this baby's ready to go. Little status. Don't know why I just turned the Russian. Ooh, really high. You're shooting the wrong pin. You've done well, it right a couple well, times. Well, that's the problem, that I'm bullseye with where I was shooting. <laughs> <laughs> OSG is confused on the scopes right I now. I am, because there's so many lines. Uh, Alright, see, it matters when you're hunting, I promise you. You don't well, get a second chance. That's why we're doing this now, so that I'm not, like, missing all the animals out there. At least that'd be a good clean miss. It wouldn't be, like, a shot in the back. That's and true. they'd be, like, wounded. It's like, uh, uh. You're gonna come up like that. Okay, you never want to rotate. Is that not working for you? You've rope cocked out. The cocker's getting the best of me. <laughs> okay, one, Come on. two, three. Inner strength. There you go. You're doing good. You're doing really, really, really good. That thing is not easy to pull back. We're gonna get the kill shot. Oh, that was good. Okay, okay. You, get, you got it on the right one that time. That was better. And a, a little low is okay. A little low is a, 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 always better than high. So in that case, I got him. Yeah, you would have <laughs> nailed him right in the heart. So that would have been great. Okay. So, hey, good adjustment. All right. Almost just, a bullseye. We got to get it in the bullseye before we end this video, though. Just keep practicing. All right. Last two shots. Center punched it here, guys. That was my, that was my shot. And then OSG right there on the bullseye so we got her we got her dialed in pretty good now everything's looking good winston is on the prowl over here <laughs> got to make sure that he doesn't get in the way he's like what the heck's going on what Probably. you guys hunting which one's mine what you guys hunting down there huh is this one mine hunting little white pigs mama lfg come on down so have you ever shot a crossbow in your life no you look very beautiful by the way today oh well thank you, you. very nice oh well thank you but no i've never done this before 
I don't know how this works. That's okay, we're gonna walk you through it. You're gonna hit it dead center. Uh -huh. Okay, well, I can tell you right now, I don't even see the target. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the point if I can't shoot? Because the safety's still on. I, I know, so why would ha did we have that? How do we still have that on? Okay, you feel good about it? I do. I okay, everything looks good. Your fingers are fine. Okay, I'm gonna click off the safety, and I want you to slowly squeeze on the trigger until it goes off, okay? And you sure my right hand is okay? Yes. yes. Yep, you're good. And it's not going to kick at all, so. Slowly. Oh! Yes! <laughs> oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> Just in time, that uh, hurt me! <laughs> it doesn't even kick! Well, it hit me back in the face! I told you oh, don't that's... put your eye up to it, Mama. If that was a rifle, you'd have like a big circle around your eyeball. <laughs> you got a little brow bruise <laughs> on there. But it, here's the thing about a bow, it doesn't kick. It's well, weird. It kicks just a little bit. It's just a... Jen, that came back and hit me. <laughs> well, you had your eye all the way up right, on let's, it. Let's review. You, you, you put it against your shoulder, keep your eye away from it, okay, and then you squeeze the trigger. You can't put your eye up on it. Fair enough. We did tell her that about 12 times. Well, you're not to blame. But... You got all that great makeup upstairs. It's all good. <laughs> and you made a great shot, shot, Mom. I my shot. Yes. That's most likely a dead animal right there. <laughs> this is just an archery day with the family. <laughs> so we're getting it down. Oh, she is, um, she's getting, she's better. getting better. One step Practice. at a time. Yeah. Good news is we got, we got a little bit of time for season yeah. hits. You know, it's looking pretty good, guys. I think, I think me and OSG are gonna be set to do a, a dual hunt together. Me with my bow. Her with a crossbow. If you guys are wondering about that crossbow, I'm gonna put a link down in in the dead baby. Put a link down in the description for it so you can check it out. And I just shot. That was at 40 yards, still hitting the bullseye. So that's that's good. I think we're gonna be able to kill something with that this year. That's pretty that awesome. Tree. I love hiking. You love. You're a total Austin girl. I love hiking. Love the just the outdoor trails. Archery. But you always say that I'm like an outdoor like Starbucks girl and I'm totally not. Well. Well. That'll remain debatable when we head out this season. But I don't mind hunting. As long as you don't have to camp out. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. So what you're saying is if we if we get our our Starbucks in the morning, we head out to the deer blind, everything's good. We yeah. come in and we go shopping in the afternoon. Well and we get our okay, purse. Okay, now you're just making fun of me. The awesome thing is uh, just meeting Rob from Deer Meat from, for dinner. Uh, they just had a baby, by the way. Go say congratulations from LFG on their channel at Deer Meat for dinner. Uh, they invited us out to go hunting. So once we get our skills down, we're going to head out there and, and probably harvest something. And it's going to be good. Maybe before the brain tumor surgery, maybe after. I don't know. Probably after. Yeah. And Willis is getting bigger by the day. I feel him in my head, but um, I think we're going to wrangle him in here pretty soon. I feel good. Like the last couple of days I felt really good. OSG's got me you on a good nutrition good. plan. Thank you. I've actually gained five pounds. I'm feeling a little a little friskier. A little yeah. fun. All right. That's well, what we like to I hear. I like to feel fun. I don't know what that means. But anyways guys, really enjoyed uh, really enjoyed shooting that crossbow with OSG. If you guys like the video, make sure to like it. Make sure to give OSG some tips if I missed out on anything. Let us know in the comments. And overall, I think archery is kind of similar to fishing in a way where you can just go enjoy it in the backyard with your family. If you happen to have a pond in your backyard or something <laughs> like that, or you're just by the lake, I don't know. I just kind of envisioned, I just envisioned a, a future life compound of having like a pond and an archery uh, situation all together. As long as there's trail. OSG needs trails yeah. on her compound. And I don't have many days left here and the United States fishing freaks. I got another fishing video coming at you shortly. Uh, we'll be uploading that tomorrow. And then I got uh, I got an announcement on where I'm going. And it's it's not the Amazon. I got another place that I'm going. But thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for all your continued prayers and support. Make sure to pray for the ones down in Houston. And we love you guys very much. We'll see you on the next video.